Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. Let's get started. The first thing we will begin by doing is applying a neutral background color. As a background color, I chose, it's like a beige color, but you can also go bare with it. The one I'm going to be using is this one by Simple Colors, and it's called Euro Trash number 838. So I'm going to be applying this one over the entire nail. The next thing we will allow this to completely dry. The next thing we will be doing is we're going to be getting a black nail polish or the color of your choice and I'm going to be starting over in this corner and bringing it sideways. And it doesn't have to be half of the nail, it should be a little bit less than half of the nail. I'm going to get my black nail polish, I'm thinning up, removing the excess from my brush. I'm going to start over in this corner here and I'm going to bring it straight across. I'm going to saturate my brush a little more and I'm just going to fill this in. Now that we have this completely filled in the side, we're going to allow this to completely dry and move over to the next step. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to get a nail art polish of your choice and I'm going to be doing little scribblies or little swirls on both sides, the black and the neutral side. I'm going to thin out my brush, removing excess, and I'm going to start in the very middle. I'm going to do a, a little swirl starting in this corner and I'm going to bring it all the way across to the black polished area. The next scribbly I'm going to be doing is going to be over on the black area only. So I'm going to do a little piece over on that side. The next one I'm going to be doing is going to be on the lower side, on the neutral side. So I'm just going to do a very small one over on that side. And from here on, if you think it still looks too empty, what you can do is you can just do tiny, tiny little shapes on it. Just um tiny little scribblies. So I'm going to do another one over on this area and maybe another little one over on there. And that's it. We will allow this to dry and continue. Now we're going to begin working on the flower you see here on the side. You can do your flower any color you want. I'm using for my flower a really vibrant pink color. This one's by Santi and it's called Flower Pink. And this one, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm using. To make the flower, I'm going to be using this tilted brush. It's a small tilted brush. Right here, I have my polish remover. I'm using 100% acetone polish remover. I have a lint-free tissue, and I have my glopping piece of paper. What I'm going to do to make my flower, the first thing is I'm going to get my pink polish, and I'm going to glop my piece of paper. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to dip the very bristles into the 100% acetone, saturating it. I'm going to remove a little bit on my lint-free lint tissue and I'm going to just mix it with my nail polish. And this is going to give me a watery uh, nail polish and that's exactly the consistency I want. Now that it's watery, I'm going to move over and I'm going to draw a three petal flower over on the corner very sloppily. I'm going to touch and there's one petal. I'm going to saturate my brush again and I'm going to do petal number two and I'm going to touch again on the third petal and there's my third petal. It's nothing neat. To clean out my brush all I have to do is put the very bristles back in and I'm not pushing down to clean my brush I'm just on the side removing excess and cleaning out my brush and all I, I have a clean brush there again I will wipe it off and do the same thing again very carefully so that my bristles don't become loose and my brush is ready for the next use all I have to do after this is run it through some warm water and dry it gently and then allow it to air dry so we're done 
with the making of the first base of our flower petal. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my globbing piece of paper again. I'm going to get purple polish and what I'm going to do with my purple polish is the very middle part of my flower. So for the purple middle part I'm using Best Sense Nail Polish and this one I don't find a name for it but it says number 36 in the bottom. So I'm going to glob my piece of paper with this purple polish and I'm going to get a dotting tool, a small dotting tool or you can even use a toothpick and I'm going to dip the tip and I'm going to do a round little middle part for my flower. Okay, so there's the middle part for my flower and the next thing to do is I'm going to get uh, nail art polish. I'm going to be using a purple nail art polish and I'm going to start defining my flower. And it's like the flowers we made when we were in I don't know, in your first, second, third grade. It's very simple flower to do. I'm going to get my nail art polish and the middle petal I'm going to outline completely. So I'm going to start very deep and I'm going to bring it out. I'm starting very deep in the middle petal. I'm going to dip again and I'm going to start deep again. We're only working on the middle petal and I'm going to bring it out giving it a tip. On the ones on the side I'm not going to go as deep as I did on the middle one. I'm going to start over on this side and giving it a tip over on that side and giving it a tip. We're not starting as deep. I'm going to dip again and we're going to outline the, our last petal the same way we did the one on the opposite side. Starting not way too deep over on that side and just rounding it off with a tip. The next thing I'm going to do to my flower is in between my flower petals I'm going to draw a tiny little line. Just a simple little line. So I'm going to thin out my brush and in between I'm going to start and I'm going to do a little line. Over on this side I'm going to draw another little line and on this side a third little line very simple to I'm do. I'm going to be getting a green nail art polish and I'm going to be doing the same kind of swirls, white swirls we did but I'm going to be doing them in green now. I'm going to be com coming in between the petals and I'm just going to go round and doing the little swirlies. I'm going to dip again and I'm going to be doing in between this petal I'm going to bring it round, round, round and ending in the black area and I'm going to be doing one more. I'm going to start over on this area and I'm going to swirl it, swirl it and end it up on that area. So that's where the green little swirlies come from. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to glop our piece of paper and we're almost done. We're going to be glopping our piece of paper with yellow polish and this one is also by Best Sense number 03 and I can't find the names. They're probably there but I can't find them. So I'm glopping my piece of paper with the yellow and what I'm going to do with the yellow is in the tip, let me see, in the tip of every little green swirly I did I'm going to be adding dots. So I'm going to dip my dotting tool, a small dotting tool, and I'm going to come over to the very tip of the green ones and I'm going to dot and I'm just dotting the sides. You can add as little or as many as you want, as big or as small as you want. Over here we have another one, so I'm going to dot the tip and I'm going to bring it over to the sides, going downward just you can see there on the very tips of the green. I'm going to move over to our third and last one and I'm just dotting the very very sides of it and you can go as low as you want they can be the size that you want and that's all we've done there so far. I'm going to move over to the middle part of my flower and I'm also going to be doing about three little dots not too many. So I'm going to do one two, 
and three. So that's it for the dotting of the flower and for the nail art part on the top of the nail. So you could pretty much be done there, but I wanted to add a little bit more. So once this dries, I will show you what I use to add a little bit more of shimmer to the nail art design. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a little bit of glitter to my design. You can pretty much be done there, but in case you want to add a little bit of glitters to it, this is the way to do it. I'm going to be adding in the center of my flowers, I decided to add yellow glitters. And on the upper part of the nail design where the black uh, polished area is, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the silver glitter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my clear nail polish. And over on the black polished area, I'm going to add some clear polish. I'm going to be getting my dotting tool. And I'm going to be dipping the very tip. And I'm going to begin to randomly place some of the silver glitter. Just not too many, just a little bit here and there. Now in the middle part of the flower, you can leave your flower like this. Or you can add the little yellow glitters. I'm going to get some of the clear polish and I'm going to polish the very center of the flower. I'm going to dip my dotting tool and I'm just going to pick some and place them. This gives them a little bit of a shiny glittery look that I really like. So all I'm doing there is that, placing some of the little yellow glitters. Okay, and that's all I've done there. Placed some of the little yellow glitters, and uh, you can see you can see them shining in the light. They shine very pretty. But that's um, how you're gonna get this nail art design done. It's um, a couple of steps to keep in mind. And if you want to tone it down, then what you can do is uh, do the the flower a little bit of a more muted tone color and it'll give it a completely different look. I hope you guys like this design and try it out using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!